What's going on everyone? Charlie here. We're going to take a little bit more of a, of a dive into Jessica Ashu, the current and, uh, you know, only policy director that Redis ever had. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look into her real quick and some of her past experience. This is her, Jessica Ashu, right here. You can see in the background, uh, this was at the time she was part of the Atlantic Council, which we went over that yesterday. Now, that's a closer picture of her. So Jessica Shu is a robust proponent of the moderate rebels in Syria. She was highly behind the uh, missile strikes um, back when Obama was president. Um, she's a former member of the Atlantic Council, as discussed yesterday, which is the overseas coverage arm of NATO. Now, the Atlantic Council receives funding from the U.S. Army, the U.S. authorities, massive tech companies, weapon producers, and Middle Eastern nations. Others on the board of the Atlantic Council and former members include Henry Kissinger, Colin Powell, Condoleezza Rice, seven former CIA administrators, and senior army commanders. During her time working as deputy director of the Atlantic Council, she headed its Middle East Strategy Task Force. She worked under Stephen Hadley, the senior nationwide safety advisor for President George W. Bush. Her space of expertise is in the conflict of Syria. Directly after leaving her position at the Atlantic Council, she immediately was hired as Reddit's first ever policy director to control what content is put out on Reddit and to basically start fostering and to steer Reddit into a political era, which is exactly what we've been seeing unfolding this year. It's basically a propaganda machine meant to divide and regulate what is being discussed. Let's go ahead and take what a look. What I'm most looking forward to about attending the Miss Global Forum is seeing the incredible change that's happening in Saudi Arabia. And this change is largely being led by the youth. So it's very encouraging to see MISC as an organization showcasing the Saudi youth to the world. And it'll also be very exciting to see people from the rest of the world have their expectations upended by the incredible things that Saudi young people are doing. Saudi young people are the ones in control? Um, okay, let's continue. I think that, that your question gets again to the diversity that exists amongst companies in the industry and what is the life of a startup. Um, so when you have companies that are just starting out in this space, they're small startups, um, content moderation is generally not the first thing that you know the kid in the garage in Silicon Valley thinks of, for better or for worse. They think about how to actually get the site functioning and get a product up to marketplace. And so I think you know, in, in, in terms of Reddit's evolution, one of our corporate um, values that we have is evolve. And you see that very much in terms of our content moderation. And um, if anyone has been following the history of Reddit, yes, in the past there have been some spicy, controversial things on the website, to put it mildly. Um, but that was at a time when the company was, you know, no more than 60 people um, and several hundred million users. So. That was a capacity issue that was to be expected. Um, since I've come to Reddit, so I'm the first policy director that the company has ever had, because again, it's startup land. Like the policy director is not the first person <laughs> that you hire. Um, no, you're right, it isn't. Now, why would they do this? Because all of a sudden Reddit's usage surged at the beginning of this year, and they needed to get a hand on it. Now she joined Reddit in 2017, but if you look back in history, when did the retail traffic start going up in the markets? Around that time. That's when payment for order flow really started getting going. So anyways, that's Jessica Shu. Sure, there's a lot more on her. However, suspicious, very suspicious. They want to control us and they're doing it through the free products that you and I use every day, because guess what? Nothing's free. If it's free, you're the product. Keep that in mind. 